In this video, we will talk about props in React. Props is one of the most fundamental concepts in React. They are the way of passing the information from parent component to child components. This information or data could be anything. Primitive values, arrays, objects, functions. Now let's dive into the code and see how it works in practice. I created a file for a simple components, uh, which is called say hello. And let's write this component. We will start with export const say hello. And we will write an arrow function. And here we will return not a div, but an empty component empty tag and here we will pass the props so we will insert here the curly braces and let's write the h3 and h4 tags we'll place curly braces here as well and here inside the function properties or arguments we will define our props and let's say it will be greeting1 and greeting2. From here we will use it inside the uh, component, uh, the component markup. So greeting1 and here it will be the greeting2. And since it is TypeScript, TSX, we need to define a type and it will be React functional component. And now we need to also add the types for this props. And we will do that with an interface. So let's write interface and let's call it say hello interface and inside here we can say uh, greeting um, greeting one string and greeting two string as well and let's use this interface inside the definition of our component. Say hello interface here. This completion is not what we needed. Alright, and now everything is okay. So let's use this component inside our app main component. Uh, let's import it here. Uh, so let's say import say hello and here when we're using this component say hello we should provide this uh, this props uh, so you see the prompt that we need to provide this greeting one and greeting two props so here we are using these props uh, just like the arguments in HTML. So greeting one, let's say hello, and greeting two, let's say hey there. And let's see how it works. And here is our component with props. We also can define the default value of the prop. How to do that? So inside the component, say hello. We can define it here. So let's say the greeting to will be equals to, uh, I don't know, greeting to. And now we can remove it here. And then 
the default value will be used and I think we just need to do that here in such a way uh, so when we're using this question mark inside the interface we are telling TypeScript that uh, this parameter greeting2 is optional so when we are not providing it while using say hello component it will pick this default value and let's see if it works save everything and as you see everything works perfectly props in react are not static so they can change over time for example you have some interactive logic in parent component and in result some variables passed to the to props of the child component could be changed then when those props are changed child component re-renders according to those changes and let's see an example uh, at official react documentation page so here we have passing props to a component article and here we have mm, some clock example somewhere here yeah and it's it's here now it's loading let's refresh the page and now let's just search for clock right let's open in a sandbox for some reason it's it's not showing here maybe it's something with my internet at the moment all right we see something it loaded here on uh, the react documentation page so here we have a simple component clock and this component have two props color and time uh, imagine that those props are passed to this clock component from the parent let's say then the app component mm. and here in this return statement we have only h1 tag so the whole component is just this this time this time inside the h1 tag and everything everything above and below it's it's not this component so this pick a color is inside the parent component and when we are changing this the prop color which is passed here is changing and the color is changing and the same is with time uh, so inside the parent component we have a timer which is passing uh, this variable this attribute as prop to the clock component and every time this timer changes this prop is changing and it is re-rendering here inside this component it is a bit more complicated con concept, but keep in mind that props are immutable. Uh, this term means unchangeable. Uh, it means that we can't change the prop even if it looks like this. Uh, what React actually does when we pass in new props to the component, it is replacing the whole props object with a new one, with the new values of the props. Try to create uh, some components with props on your own and happy coding.